the concept of the cobbler is something that I really enjoy and I'm pleased to say that I personally found the execution of this narrative really fascinating and it worked really well. It's got 5.8 out of 10 on IMDb which I think is kind of what I expected but I would have liked it. You know, I, I feel like it was a bit of a 6 but the meta score of 23 I don't understand. So if you don't like this film I'd love to know why. You know what what about it? Is it just people are not enjoying the narrative, the performances? Personally, I thought it was really good. It's directed by Tom McCarthy, written by McCarthy and Paul Sado, and stars Adam Sandler as our cobbler character. He plays Max, and the description from IMDb sums it up really nicely. And this says a cobbler, bored of his everyday life, stumbles upon a magical heirloom that allows him to become other people and see the world in different ways. This is all about walking a mile in somebody else's shoes. But I just, I love the idea of the story. So he gets to kind of theoretically walk in these people's shoes and discover what it's like to be them and what it's like to, you know, be seen differently by other people and experience the world through different eyes. I just think that's, I think that's a brilliant concept and I really, really enjoy it. And I think it's perfectly executed. Some of the scenarios could have been more interesting. I may have personally picked some different kinds of individuals. But none of that is a problem with the film. It's just, I would, you know, certain things that I personally would have done a little bit differently. But I think it worked really well. It's quite funny. I, I don't believe I laughed out loud, but it's, you know, it's, it's jolly. It's a little bit serious at times when it needs to be. And I just love that fantastical element of being able to put on a pair of shoes and being magically kind of, you know, transported into that person's life. I think it's a great piece of fantasy. Uh, I also really like The Elves and the Shoemaker as a story. It's one of my favourite childhood stories. So I think maybe my opinion is slightly warped by that because it kind of reminds me of that and gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling. I also just love... The simple nature of being a, a cobbler you know it's very hands-on not using technology and everything all the time and it just feels nostalgic I guess I really enjoy it it really is very good and I'd love to see a sequel to this or something else very much like it I don't know the hat maker that would be great it kind of has like a Mr. Ben feel where he puts on a different outfit and yeah it's in, it's it's interesting and entertaining, and personally, I like it. Is it my favourite Adam Sandler film? Maybe not. I actually don't know. I don't know which my favourite Adam Sandler film is. If you know which yours is, please let me know. I'd be very interested to find that out. For me, it's good. In fact, it's probably great. It's one that I think I could watch again. It's not perfect. Absolutely not perfect. But by no means is it a meta score of 23. Uh, that's just, that doesn't make any sense to my brain at all. I liked it. It's good fun. In some ways you can expect the expected. And in some ways think outside of the box. It's exciting to see which shoes are going to come in next. And I just love the idea of the whole thing. I love the idea of the concept. And I think it's very well executed. I know it was 2014, seven years ago now. But if they are ever thinking of making a sequel, they have my support. I think it would be pretty interesting. I enjoyed it. I think it's one of Adam Sandler's most underrated films and it's definitely worth checking out.